Hello everyone. This is the second tutorial of rigging a cartoony character with MetaHuman Rig. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to assign facial rig. And before doing a facial rig, I'm going to fix some of the problem that I had with the uh, I have with the character, and I didn't fix them. First of all. Uh, I am I'm not happy with the position of the head joint because the head joint is usually uh, depending on the character but it should be under the jaw uh, around here so the head moves naturally as you can see it is kind of in, uh, unnatural when especially uh, the character uh, rises uh, her head it looks unnatural and because of the position it's because of the position of the head joint in order to uh, change or uh, move the head joint and without affecting the skin there is a tool that called move skin joint and when you select that Tool, as soon as you touch the joint it goes into wireframe that shows that the skin is not affected and I can move the joint whenever I want to remove the this mode I can easily select W key or rotation key which is E and it backs to its default tool as you can see uh, now the rotation is much more natural and especially if we rotate the character like that as you can see it's very natural and if rotate the whole neck it is even more natural we should be on world mode and there is another issue with um, in this area if I remove this joint you can see there is some uh, not very great great deformation and what we can do about it we can go ahead and do skinning but skinning is cumbersome there are there are other tools that can help us and we don't need to deal with skinning and um, one of the tools is actually tension deformer I'm going to object mode and I'm rising the shoulder and this shoulder too and even the problem is we have a problem here too this pinch I want to get rid of this pinch and I'm going to use tension deformer for that one and I'm going to uh, on um, object uh, actually symmetry mode and I'm going to select this tool yeah I'm in symmetry but because the character is not 100% symmetrical object mo uh, from object X doesn't work for us and we are going to use topology and we need to select the middle edge so the software knows how to apply symmetri symmetrical selection and now I can select this tool <coughs> and Paint the area that I want to be affected by the deformer. And now I'm going to apply the deformer and I'm selecting tension. And 
and in the attribute of tension deformer I'm going to increase smooth, uh, smoothing steps to 1 and smoothing iteration to 50 and as you can see it's already fixing the problem and I'm going to actually um, yeah we don't need squash stretch uh, constraint but we need stretch cost constraint and it fixes the problem for us but if you can if you uh, just look at it carefully you can see the the uh, effect of the deformer and for example this vertices you can tell exactly where the deformer was applied and in order to have it seamless what we are going to do is to change the deformer order because we have much deformer before and I'm going to apply the tension deformer first and then much deformer so much deformer is going to fix the seam that is um, is applied by tension deformer in order to do that I'm going to right click on the character and from input I'm going to select all input this is our tension deformer uh, uh, and with middle miss mouse uh, button I am dragging the tension deformer under delta mesh and sometimes it is actually yeah working and as you can see now it is perfect and perfect and seamless let's um, check it very good and even this area that we had problem here we have seamless seamless effect now that the body rigging is fixed I'm going to save it and I'm going to do the face so as you remember we separated the head from the body and now we have head here and what I'm going to do is actually having a duplicate of this character which I'm going to use for blend shed I'm duplicating, duplicating it and here it is and I'm parenting it call put a name on it blend shape and I'm going to unlock it now I'm going to hide the actual character actually just body I think just body I'm going my body and the skeleton and I'm going to change the position and size of this head but before doing that as you remember when you want to uh, change the size scale uh, rigged character or uh, rigged skeleton as change, the scale, change the scale of the skeleton what you need to do is to group the root join to itself that's the way of changing the size or scaling a skeleton and by pressing I can actually go here and in modify I can say center pivot so I can have the pivot point of this group here I can put I put the name on it too and image head 
and also I want to disconnect the rig, uh, the control rig, because I don't want this control rig be affected by changing. And I'm going to delete this constraint and even unparent it. So I can put it somewhere. And now I can easily change the head. Now I grabbed, grabbed the head here and let's actually turn off joints so it's not distracting us. And what I'm trying to do is first position the lips because this is the most important portion for us. I'm going to open the lips a bit. Maybe having this control it here and I'm going to open the mouth just a little, just like the character. Now, I'm trying to position this um, metahuman in a way that exactly the corner of the mouth is matched to the corner, corner of the mouth of my character. because look the corner is here and this corner is here so it needs to be scaled down I scale it down until the corner is ex exactly at the corner of the mouth of the character as you can see we are close but still not there this is the corner and this is the corner of the character Still, it needs to be much smaller. Almost there. Yeah, I'm going to save it. And for the lips, we can actually change the geometry. Actually, it doesn't allow us to change the geometry because it's already have blend shape and what I'm going to do is add a corrective blend shape and from Windows animation editor I uh, bring shape editors shape editor and 
I'm adding uh, add target and let's call it corrective and it's already in edit mode it means whatever we do to the mesh it's applied to this blend shape and we are freely, freely we are able to edit it freely and now I start to start editing it I'm going to right view and my tool is uh, selection my selection sub selection is on volume I'm selecting surface so I can adjust the lips individually also also I forgot to make sure that I am on symmetry mode so I am doing some control Z and I'm selecting topology again and select the middle edge it's hard to find I think this is the middle edge and going to right view and now I'm on symmetry mode can start editing it and I want to not touching the corner of the mouth because I know it's already on the place the only thing that I want to do is to adjust actually not neck for now for now I will adjust neck later and I'm going to adjust lips nose because the nose also has some motion with metahuman the nose has some motion too and now I think we are done let's take a look and I'm going to yeah I think it's fine maybe I'm hiding the teeth both teeth for metahuman and the character and I'm just trying to match the lips so it can it can wrap be wrapped around the other lip and here as well it doesn't need to be perfect but we want to be close as much as possible and making sure that we are not touching the corner as much and I'm bulging it with control key and middle mouse it's almost there and I need to bulge it here actually this area maybe a little
looks good and for the other lip and it is important to have actually the lip line exactly on the place and I am pushing it to see the other lip line actually it is it seems to be on the place and you should remember you can't um, do very do very aggressive changes because this character has a rig and we don't want to ruin the rig and you should be careful and matching it as much as much as possible with scale the scaling of the character and then small adjustment with lips for example you are not going to match the corner of the lips right away you are not going to touch the corner and you are not going to change the change the actually the corner of the mouth and here is some overlapping in this corner I think it would be okay but we will see if it, if it didn't work for us we can change it later